Hey everybody, I want to share with you 10 qualities of big people. Number one, they're hospitable. They welcome people into their world, into their home, into their office. You feel welcomed and you feel appreciated. They're generous with what they provide for you, with water. They say, do you want a glass of water, cup of coffee, whatever? Here's some food. They're hospitable. Number two, they're generous, but also frugal. They don't waste money, but they are generous with what they have got. Number three, they are not judgmental. You feel comfortable in their presence. You don't feel like they're looking you up and down and they've got a thousand and one opinions about what you look like, about what you do, about your dress code, about your manners and everything else. There is no judgment with big people. They're always positive. They see the upside of everything. They look at you and they say, wow, you're doing so well. This is a way to get out of ourselves rather than waiting for people give attention to us, give attention to them and tell them they're doing so well. They're doing a great job at what they are putting their hand to. Tell them great things you've heard about them. Upbuild them, build people's faith in God and in themselves. They carry a positive atmosphere. I mean, you feel like when you're around them that the sun is shining, it's broken through the clouds. You feel that the temperature has risen, it's warmer, it's more life-giving. We are people who are to carry the atmosphere, the climate with us. These people are full of faith. They believe with you and they believe for you and they believe about you. They are have faith in God. They have faith in the future. They are believing. They're not negative and angry and worried and anxious. They impart faith. You feel like, yes, I can do anything. You feel like impossibilities are suddenly possible. And big people have a great view in spite of so many negative things are happening around them. They believe the best is going to happen. They're unworried. They're not anxious. When people say, oh, there's this and this and this and this, they go, ah, we're going to be fine. Their trust is in God. And and that's not being irresponsible. That means that God is with them and that they're going to see a victory very soon because faith attracts the power of God. Doubt repels it. Fear repels it. So we turn, big people have turned their fears into faith. They've switched that faith on and they're believing God for a brilliant future. Amen. They're also inclusive. They welcome people into their world. They're not exclusive. They don't say, hey, hey, you can't come in through here. I've often found that in the green room, at the back of church or wherever, that once certain people are in there, they don't want others to come in. I go like, hey, the reason you were in is because you were welcomed in. Jesus welcomed into his 12 a zealot for the Jewish nation and also Matthew, who was a tax collector for the Romans. These two must have hated each other before they met Jesus. And I can imagine they had some pretty heated arguments at times. But Jesus, he got in in the middle and he calmed them down and told them, hey, love one another. And his message becomes pertinent when you understand the personality backgrounds of all of his disciples. And so you and I have been called to love one another and include other people. Find the points of agreement, not the points of disagreement. Why do we want to polarize people and polarize our relationships? Include people, welcome them. Nothing will affect a person more than acceptance, unconditional loving acceptance. And conversely, it is amazing how deeply rejection affects people directing the whole course of their life. Remember in the in the 300, uh, that movie about the Spartans protecting the hot gates. And it was the rejected hunchback who felt so bitter about not being able to be part of the Spartan army that he went and betrayed the goat's track down to the Spartan army, to the enemy, to the Persian king. And because of that, they were defeated. The power of rejection should never be underestimated, nor should the power of acceptance. It does exactly the opposite. And then number nine, big people have big thinking. They don't just think, oh, let's let's buy a bicycle. They're thinking, let's buy the bicycle shop. They don't think, let's just rent a room at a hotel. They're thinking, we could own this hotel. They are thinking bigger all the time than the small person is in their mind. 
And so uh, the last one, they assume responsibility. Big people pay the bill. Uh, often I've been in restaurants and there's a fight over who's going to pay the bill rather than over splitting it up and penny pinching and you had two of these and you had three of these. Big people are not going to let that sort of thing affect them. They are not going to be petty minded. And I would urge you today to become a big person. Christians are meant to be big people. In this in these, these lists that I have here, and I have another 10 that I'll share in another video, uh, I have urged our movement, C3 people, to have these kind of qualities in their life, to be big people, not small people, with small minds and small emotions shrinking. Christians are meant to be big people on planet Earth.